And I had kind of a fantasy, a dream that if you've ever watched um, Russell Brand, he's got a podcast. And Russell Brand used to be a heroin addict. And he's really funny and he's been clean for many years. But he tells these crazy stories about when he was on heroin. And as part of his comedy, he really supports sobriety and shares how to become sober. And part of me thought, well, maybe that will be my, maybe that's what God wants me to do. Well, I made it about a week and then I relapsed. <laughs> And I had to get on. I said, well, I'm holding myself accountable. What does that mean? I told the viewers that, well, if I relapse, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to get up here and say, come on, kids, you can, you know, just say no. And then I'm secretly smoking weed or even eating like a gummy or something. But so I relapsed and then I just made a couple of videos talking about the relapse that were really creative and musical and funny. <laughs> and uh, I also had to admit, I didn't really feel that guilty for relapsing, but it was a time when I kind of came out from behind the curtain of uh, this Buju not a Buju show. So now I do um, a show called Quitting Weed that I, I think people, Sorry, that's not a bougie's cup. I think some people click on it thinking it's going to be me talking about how I quit weed. Because I'd been watching a lot of videos on how to quit weed before I started making those. But I can't, uh, I can't tell anybody how to quit weed. All right. <clears throat> So this has been intermission and do I need the headphones for anything? Probably not. Today is Ojibwe word of the day. The dream catcher. I suspect the dream catcher was invented in like the 1960s. <laughs> Um, it's a perfect gift and item to sell at a powwow, but, uh, <laughs> but who knows, maybe, maybe it was, uh, spider woman or a grandmother spider who spoke. And uh, Natasha did a terrible job telling the traditional Ojibwe story. <laughs> but okay. Let's get rid of this. Oh, doggone it, hold on. Now let's go back. Wait. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, sweetie. <laughs> you know. A man tries and tries and inside he dies and dies. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> okay, hey, Buju. Let me get myself together here. Let's get the show on the road. Buju. How are you? My name is Nana Buju. I would like to tell a story. This is the story. But a lovely lady. <laughs> no, the Brady Bunch. Yeah. This is the story about a lovely lady who, it's never clear. If they mentioned it, I don't know where I was. But some lady had three, three, three daughters. 
who were all blonde, and they met this dude who had three sons, who were all brunettes, and all lined up perfectly with them daughters to date. But they weren't Mormon, and the dad was secretly gay. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah, did you know that? That actor, he was a flaming homosexual. Is that right? Yep. But, um, so, but they, they meet each other. And one day this lady, she met a fellow and it was more than just a hunch that they should get together and create the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch. That's how we became the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, da 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 da. And did all the brothers and sisters eventually marry? I think they all married other people. They didn't marry each other? No, that would be gross. It would be gross, but why? Because they grew up as brothers and sisters. Yeah, so? <laughs> Still. I'm like 10% Mormon myself. Ah, let the kids marry. <laughs> Sometimes when I laugh, I, I sound like you. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> How you guys doing? Anin, Eiji Eiyan. And today, I don't care about talking about the Dreamcatcher. I want to talk about, uh, oh, I don't know. Should we talk about politics? Should we talk about Trump? Let's talk about Trump, baby. Let's talk about Trump, man. Uh -huh. Want to hear my Donald Trump impersonation? Sure. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. <laughs> my name is Donald J. Trump. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I talk... I say whatever I want to say, but then I kind of, I kind of soften the blow. That's what I'm hearing. That's what they're telling me. They're telling me I was the greatest president ever. But I don't trust them. You don't trust Trump anymore? <laughs> I always liked him more than Joe Biden. Uh, and, and I'm like you. I do like how he dances. Yeah, that's the most endearing thing about Donald Trump. <laughs> you know, say Natasha was talking about loving your enemies or whatever, and you got to think of something nice you can say about people. When Donald Trump, Trump dances, whatever that is, <laughs> young man, no, 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 no. You know, it's so jerky and it looks like my grandma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can just kind of love him. But, you know, come on. He's a reality show guy. He's not a real president. Yeah, I know. I liked watching the uh, TDS, Trump deranged syndrome people, lose their minds when he was in there. You know, like, I, I laughed when I saw that lady sitting on a street, street just screaming to God, No! Yeah, I remember that. You know. No! It's really important who's president. You know. But he's going to run again and prove that your votes don't matter because this time they'll let him win. Last time they didn't let him win. You can't say that. I know. You might get impeached if you suggest. But I think that was part of the script too. Yeah, it probably was. So I think I'm just done with politics in general. Rudy Giuliani, my friend Rudy Giuliani, Sleepy Joe Biden, he's also got a little bit of a kind of a sing song. I'm Donald J. Trump. Don't go away, I'm begging you to stay, cause <laughs> I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go. Oh, really? Why? Because I'm going to miss your love. <laughs> the minute you, you walk, 
walk out that door. But I gotta go to work, honey. No, I'm gonna miss your love the minute you walk out that door. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, hey. Won't you consider becoming a patron? Patron? No, that's not right. Like um, patron. Yeah. I can't even say it. <laughs> Please become a patron saint and support Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Click the links in the description to our Patreon page. And if you become a $25 a month Buju Crew member, it's an exclusive club. <laughs> it's going to cost you some junior some no. money. <laughs> no. Uh, you'll get a a cup, a coffee cup. Oh, you can oh. put your black medicine water in there. <laughs> Muckade bush kiki wabu. Muckade bush kiki. See, you're already learning it, Jibwe. <laughs> yeah. I've said it for a while. Let me get rid of Trump here. Hey, actually, sweetie. Yeah. Do you want to talk to um um what am I talking thinking of? Hunter Biden is online too. Hunter Biden? Oh, okay, hang on. Hello, Hunter Biden. Welcome to the show. <laughs> hey man! Now the bougie is me. It's Hunter Biden. <laughs> How you doing, Hunter? I'm doing all right, man. I was just working on my painting. I'm sitting, I, I'm, I'm in a hotel. Hey, Hunter, was that your bag of Coke? <laughs> Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Someone's going to hear you. Nah, it's okay. Nobody watches our show. No, man, I want to show you my paintings. I don't want to look at your stupid paintings. No, man, I'm an artist, see? And uh, I like to paint. You know, uh, there's, there, there's so much. There's so much you can share. If you share your pains, man. You're back on the drugs, aren't you, Hunter? <laughs> no, man. No, here, 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 look. Look, look, look at here. Look, this here? This is my painting. Oh, yeah. Hunter, your paintings suck. No, man, I painted that. I went to a hotel. I was in Vegas, right? And and there's, there's a, I don't know, a pan of water. And I just started dripping my paint. I, I just dripped some ink in there. And look what happened. You know, I sold that thing for $52,000. Yeah, I know. Isn't that obscene? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like to paint, man. It's all right. Hey, dude. Uh, hang on a sec. So, I want to ask you. <laughs> Uh, is that, is, is that Michael Lyons, did, did he quit, did, did he quit the drugs? Michael, did you quit with the drugs? Uh, no, I, I never did drugs. I quit smoking pot, but I'm st still smoking it. Did you all relapse, man? I know what that's like. Uh, that's, a, that's a low feeling, man. Sometimes when I relapse, I'm like, I can't even face this straight. And I'll smoke some crack. And then I'll be like, hey, man. Oh, hang on. And then I'm like, hey, dude. <laughs> Are you smoking right now? No, man. I'm like, <laughs> hey, man. Who is this? Hunter, I'm going to let you go. No, man, man. I want I to learn the Ojibwe word of the day, man. Today's Ojibwe word for Thursday is Neo Gija Good. It means the fourth day. Neo Gija Good. That, that's the fourth day. That, and that's what you all call Thursday? Yeah, that's our Ojibwe word for Thursday. Neo Gija Good. <laughs> that ain't the darndest thing. The fourth day. Well, I'm going to go forth and smoke some cricket the crack. <sighs> all right. I'll see you later, Hunter. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I, got, I want to ask you one more question. Just one more look, one more look at it. What? Hi, y'all. Say goodbye. And Jim, boy. <laughs> we don't say goodbye, Hunter. Sadly, I think I'll see you again. We say gigawabamin. 
Mina wa. Okay, ga wa ba man. Mina wa na la boji. Okay, ga wa ba man, man. Oh. Guys a mess. I know. Isn't he in jail yet? Oh, he's not going to jail. I think he's uh wasn't there something on the news about that? Yeah, but I haven't been watching the news. I know. I don't know what's going on anymore. All I watch these days are uh, our show, uh, Family Guy reruns, <laughs> yeah, and The Office <laughs> reruns. I love The Office. I know. The Office is one of those shows you can watch the episodes over and over again. Just to sort of enjoy the performance, <laughs> you know. Just a little, you know, I don't even know how long an episode of The Office is. Is it 20 minutes? Is it an hour? Is it 40 minutes or something? You know, I don't even know. They go by fast. Doo -doo. But I realize that I'm totally, you know, there's like two types of people. Which is better, the new office or the old office? I'm like, I'm a, I'm a new office fan. Oh, no way. The Rich, Ricky Gervais is much better. Ricky Gervais is a better comedian, and he's the guy who came up with it, so I give him props. But you watch that original, and it's so dirty. Really? Yeah, the English have just a dirty sense of humor. I don't even like it. I like the new one where it's kind of rated G. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour crew members get $25 a month, and we'll send you a... Uh... Makere Mashkiki Wabu cup. A coffee cup with our pictures on it. And, uh, or just check out our Patreon page. You don't have to sign up. You can see some of these Lydia, some of these videos. This one's backstage of the show. Here's Michael and Nana Bushu. My mouth wide open. This one's called, How's the Historical Trauma Today? <laughs> okay, let's just <laughs> check this out. Yeah, I need to get my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, good morning. Mino Giga Jabe. Today is a jib boy phrase of the day. Mino Giga Jabe. Let's see. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> A rock star cartoonist. Well, I think you get the picture. Um, yeah. Come on over to our Patreon page. I don't know what else to say. Miigwechka, Biz and Thank you for listening. And I will see you again. Giga wa min. Mino wa.